Dear Dallas Valuations are delighted to welcome you to an audio recording of our article, Caring for Silver by Jenny Nott, Silver and Jewelry Specialist at Dear Dallas Valuations. We've been running a series about how to care for your precious items, and this week we're talking about caring for silver. Here are six simple rules to keep your silver in tip-top condition. Caring for your silver starts with understanding a little bit about the properties of silver. Sterling silver is 92.5% silver, and therefore only 7.5% alloy. We compare this with 9 karat gold, which is 37.5% gold and 72.5% alloy, or even 18 karat gold, which is 75% gold, then you will see that the alloy in silver is a much smaller allocation. Silver is not an inherently hard metal and consequently extremely vulnerable to scratching. According to the Mohs scale, which measures the hardness of materials, in order of softness you have silver, sterling silver that is, 9 karat gold, 18 karat gold, platinum and palladium. Rule number one therefore is to avoid cleaning silver with anything even slightly abrasive. I prefer pastes and foams which you apply with warm water. Given that silver is a soft metal, you also need to be careful not to bend it or make it vulnerable to dents. For example, it's very common to see the legs of source boats pushed in where they've been pushed down too hard. Splits can also occur around the edges of pieces. So rule number two is always handle your silverware with care, remembering that the lighter and thinner it is, the more vulnerable it will be to damage. Can you put silver in a dishwasher? I would say that the answer is yes. However, rule number three, do not load silver and stainless steel in the same compartment or place them where they might touch. This will lead to oxidization and oxidization is what causes silver to tarnish or blacken. For those who think I'm a Finistine to suggest that it's acceptable to wash silver in dishwasher, I would say this. This method of washing is no more likely to damage the silver than washing by hand. Drying silver is as likely, if not more so, to remove some of the silver and cause rubbing. If you've ever noticed that hallmarks have become obscure and difficult to read, this is because polishing or cleaning has worn down the surface and worn away silver particles. Whilst we're on the subject of dishwashers, if you have bone-handled knives, do not put them in the dishwasher. They will dry out and crack and those where the blades are held in with pitch are likely to be vulnerable to the pitch warming up and seeping out as it expands. So knives should always be washed by hand. Oxidization is the principal cause of tarnishing. So rule number four is to adhere to the following suggestions to minimize the chances of your silver tarnishing. The less you have to polish it, the less likely you will be rubbing away the silver itself. The first suggestion is use your silver. Most silverware will be cleaned after using and frequent light cleaning will be much kinder on your silver than trying to remove heavy tarnish. If you do need to store your silver, store it in a dry place, away from high temperatures. Both heat and humidity accelerate the rate at which silver tarnishes. If you're storing flatware, use special tarnish-reducing storage bags or for bulkier items, acid-free tissue paper. Do not use newspaper, as the ink is acidic and it can cause damage. The same goes for rubber bands. Tempting though it may be to bundle items together, rubber bands contain sulfur, which causes silver to tarnish quickly. Do not store silver in plastic bags, as the bags can retain moisture. Lastly, you finally have the use for those little silica gel sachets which drop out of numerous purchases. Pop these in with your silver and they will help absorb moisture. Oils, onions, eggs, salad dressings all contain ingredients which will accelerate the speed of tarnishing. So if you do use silver with these products, wash them quickly afterwards and dry them. You may have noticed that egg spoons often have gilded bowls. This is because gold does not tarnish in the same way and is therefore there to protect the silver. You may also have observed that silver salts usually have glass liners or are gilded. Salt corrodes silver. This is different to tarnish, which can be fairly easily polished off. Badly corroded silver might need to be taken to a professional to clean or replate. Therefore, rule number five, clean your silver after use and do not leave salt standing in your salt container. 
Salty snacks like peanuts and crisps will also have the same effect. Even if the gilded interior of the liner protects it, it will often not protect the sides and the borders. So take salt spoons out and salts and wipe the borders down after use. Rule number six, possibly the most important. Use and enjoy your silver. Use impregnated soft cloths, foams and basic mild detergent and warm water to keep your silver sparkling. And finally, know that notwithstanding your very best efforts, silver will always tarnish. So employ the simple rules above to keep this to a minimum and enjoy using and caring for your silver. Thank you for listening. You can read this article and many more at darevaluations.co.uk. Search for Dare Dallas to find us on Instagram and LinkedIn, where our team will keep you updated on market trends and our valuation service. For more details on our valuation service, please call us on 01883 722 736 or email inquiries at devaluations.co.uk.